yellow, we came to the Entwistle Reservoir for a walk. We were hoping to do a, um, a winter shoot, but um, although there's a little bit of snow left on the ground, everywhere else is pretty much run out and we're back to the usual UK winter weather so just yeah water 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 and it's strangely overcast it's really weird it's like hazy foggy but it's not fog I don't know what it is really strange so we'll go for a walk and we'll see what we can come up with. Okay, so just walking around as you would. Uh, and obviously, as you can see, the reservoir is completely just wetted. Well, wet. It's not frozen, let's put it that way. Whereas uh, this little pond area here to the side that's still mostly frozen over and look at the thickness of the ice there it's a it's got a decent heft to it okay so we're gonna go and have a look around go around it see whether <laughs> we can find a composition somewhere to shoot Hopefully, because this is the sort of thing that I wanted to shoot, hopefully we'll come across something. Okay, so we literally were just over there. That's where the main path is. And obviously that's where the frozen pond is. But if you venture further deep, that's where the stream's coming from. And that looks like it's got potential, so that's where we shall explore. Okay, so I went up the stream and I found a composition that I want to have a go at shooting. I don't know whether it's going to come out well or not, but there's no light, which doesn't help. Um, there's a bit of ice and I'm sure there's loads that you could shoot around here, but I'm, for some reason I'm just struggling today. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I've already taken the shot, I'm going to need to focus sack because of the proximity of the uh, front elements I suppose. Uh, what I'm going to do is, well, I recently got a polarizer filter uh, for my birthday, so I'm going to show you, for those who are not familiar with the polarizer and what it does, uh, I'm going to show you what it does basically. Um, so I've got the camera set up. Uh, and you've got wet rocks and basically this water over there and what it does it reflects a lot of the light coming from the sky and that's how you get a lot of the rocks looking very white very um, blown out almost you don't really get much in terms of texture in the rocks because of all the light that's being reflected and you get a very similar effect with the water Rather than being able to see what's actually in the water, you just get a white reflection on the sur surface of the water. And what polarizer does, it cuts through that. It's there to eliminate a lot of that. Okay, so the way a polarizer works is you basically rotate it once, whilst you've got it on your lens. So, right now I've got the polarizer just in a position that it doesn't have any effect, okay? But now watch what happens as I rotate the polarizer on the lens and mainly focus on the water in the sort of central part of the image, sort of a little bit higher up, and what happens to the white rocks and how that's gonna affect, okay? Let's go, okay, so rotating now. And that's what it does. And now going back. And now back to putting it back on. Okay. 
And this isn't any funky stuff going on in the camera, this is literally just a polarizer rotating on your lens. Uh, and that's pretty much all it's supposed to do. I don't know if I'm the only one, but I always want to shoot the landscape, I want to see, shoot the scenery. But sometimes when you're in a place like this, and there's loads of compositions to be had, I'm sure, sometimes you have to try to focus on the little detail and try to get up close to things, and rather than look at the whole picture, what, you, what you've got in front of you, sometimes you just have to focus on what's really next to your feet and try to yeah, focus on the little things because sometimes that's where the shot is and I really struggle with that sometimes uh, so I'm just standing here there's some funky eyes going on next to the tree <sighs> okay the problem is I can't really think of a way to frame Think of a way in which to frame that. Okay, next thing, you've got these broken up branches, and they don't look like anything special, but in black and white, maybe from the top, maybe there's something there. Tricky. I think I'll go for a walk around and see what I can do. Just shot this, just like a little ravine thing, ditch, <laughs> essentially, uh, with stream coming down to the main reservoir, uh, with the fallen logs over further up. Testing the polar polarizer, that looked very nice. You could see quite clearly the effect um, on this shot, but the battery's dying. I left the house with half the battery and I thought, well, usually I have plenty to go, so hopefully half will be enough, but no, it's literally just lit up red, so uh, I don't know how many more shots I'm going to be able to, ha to take. Uh, on a positive note though, it seems to be brightening up, so I don't know if you can see on the other side, but there's a bit of light shining through. So. Our search for a composition continues and yeah, hopefully we'll get something. At the moment it's just frustration because there's a lot of interesting stuff around. But either the light's not right or we just can't frame it. You know, when it's something looks nice but isn't photogenic, that sort of thing. Or at least I can't find a composition, so, you know. <sighs> Mixture of things. Right, let's carry on. That's it, battery's dead. And tripod's in a proper yoga position here going on. So, uh, Joe's gonna lend me her battery. Luckily the uh, D7000 and the D8, D800's got the same battery, so I'm just gonna borrow it, take the shot, and then, yeah, we'll have to. <laughs> Yeah, we'll try to share. <laughs> right, let's see if that comes out as anything interesting because... Hey, you don't try, you never know. Okay, we may have found something. So, we're now on the other side of the reservoir. You can't see my face because it's dark. And inside the forest, which is even darker over there, there's, well, it's pretty dark, but you do get a little bit of contrast with 
a certain, I think they're beech trees. Over there. Okay. So we're now seeing whether we can get a composition that emphasizes those. Joe's chosen a spot just beyond the wall. Whereas I'm going to go in a little bit deeper, but um, since I haven't charged my battery, I'm sort of reliant on uh, her lending me her battery. <laughs> so I'm going to wait for my turn and then I'm going to go in, set up, line up my shot and go for it. Okay, battery obtained. Let's go set up. So through the hole in the wall. Uh, and I'm just going to go in a bit deeper because I still want some trees in the background but I don't want quite as much so I'm going to set up around here with the same tree as the main subject which is the one over there about 70% through our walk so there's not much left. I don't think any of the compositions were particularly amazing but nonetheless being out and about on a walk in a new place is always a good thing and it's not raining so you know it's always a bonus. Besides, it's always a good thing to be able to get some practice. Even if you don't get that amazing shot, it's always a bit of practice. Okay, so we're back at the car now. It literally started raining as we got in, as we were getting changed, so good timing there. Um, I'll stick a link, not a link, well, I'll show up the the details of the car park here on the screen now in case you want to come around for a walk or for a shoot it's um, just north of Manchester really uh, I think it took us about 45 minutes to get up here from Manchester um, it's a nice little walk I think if you were to just walk around the reservoir it would take you about an hour, an hour and a half uh, but there are little walks and paths and uh, going off the actual reservoir so you can spend longer if you wanted to uh, you can have a picnic there are benches all round so you can have a sit down if the if the day's better you could probably even take some decent pictures uh, yeah it's a nice place definitely recommend it right so uh, I'm gonna leave you with that and we'll see you in the next one See ya.